Yo, 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 Jazz, we ready to go? Let's get it. I want you to say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Life of Liz. Let's go. Don't let this moment is past you. Grab you a pet in the pad. Life is moving too fast. Slow down. Live you a life of list. Don't let this moment was past you. Grab you a pen in the pad. Life is moving too fast. Slow down. Live you a life of bliss. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you so much for hitting that play button for another episode of Life of List. Thank you so much for giving me 10, 11, 12, 15 minutes of your day to pour into your lives, to pour into your heart. Hopefully you get a spark and you uh, are lit in the pants to get up, moved, inspired to go out, change your world, change your community, and add another accomplishment to your life of list. I cannot go another second further without shouting out possibilities. Thank you so much for hosting this podcast. I got a shout out, Paradigm Shift. Thank you so much for powering this podcast. And of course, showing love to the man, the myth, the legend, the magic behind the machine. My guy, Santiago, Jazz here in spirit. Thank you all so much for supporting the dream. Yo, you know I can't go in without going back. And today's episode is called You're the Guy. I'm him. That's what people are saying now. You're not him. He's he, he's he's him. I'm him. I'm the guy. And what, what am I talking about? I'm the guy that when I'm out, I love it when kids notice me. Oh, it's so good. I love it. I love it. I, I'll be in grocery stores. I'll be at athletic events. I'll be, uh, I'll just be out at the park, in the community, at the movies, and I love being the person that middle schoolers, high schoolers, they run up to, and not only do they love on me and they're excited to see me, but they introduce me to their parents. And how do I know that I'm the guy? Because the parents say it. Oh, you're the guy. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you're the guy. And I'm like, uh-oh. When, I, when it first started happening to me, I started getting a little nervous. Because I don't know what the kids are going home telling their parents, right? Because it's like you're having some really tough conversations and sometimes you got to correct kids. And sometimes, you know, you got to do some things that may ruffle some feathers, but you let them know that I do it because I love you. I care about you. I don't want to see you make those same mistakes. You're better than that. I know you. I know your parents. I know where you come from. I know what you're capable of. I know your potential. I know what you say you want to do and who you want to be. And right now in this moment, you're not being that. So I absolutely love when they walk away, not only from the hugs and the high fives and the encouragement, from the correction as well, and then they go home and they speak favorably about me. So how do I know that I'm the guy? Because parents tell me. And they say, oh, you're the guy. Now, the reason this is important, because, you know, I don't brag on myself often, right? And, and, and I say that with a humble heart, but I'm, I'm pretty confident in the work that I do and my motive behind doing it. And I absolutely love mentoring. I love kids. I love connecting them. I love building, being a bridge for them and building, you know, uh, a pathway for them to get from where they are to where they want to be using leadership and relationship um, as the fuel. Like I absolutely love kids. I'm confident in my intentions toward them. And one of the reasons that I love highlighting this, one, is because if you can get people, if you can show your heart and you can get them to understand that regardless of what comes out of my mouth, I care for you, then you've done the work. Now, I'm not being reckless or negligent. I'm not being dismissive, right? I'm not even being aggressive. I'm being very firm and assertive in my relationship with these students. And so it's really cool to me that they can see that Mr. Derek, the coach D, the Mr. Sire, that he loves me so much that he's not going to let me act a fool. He's going to hold me accountable. He, he, first of all, he knows me and he knows how I say I want to act, who I want to become, right? And he helps me figure out a way on how to get there. And this behavior isn't that. So when students look at me and they, can, they, they, they know regardless of what comes out of my mouth that I love them, I absolutely love that. Oh, you're the guy that corrects my son. Oh, you're the guy that encourages my daughter. I love that they carry my story. I love that they carry my story. Why is this important? This is for the same reason that I love podcasts. This is the same reason that I love books. It's the same reason that I love creating product because those things can go where I will never go. 
I remember before I started traveling as a motivational speaker, as an inspirational guy, as a mentor, as a uh, person that did professional development and, and moved in educational circles. Before I became that dude and I wrote this book back in 2015, 2016, it was going places that I never thought I would go. I had, I had books in Africa and in Canada and Mexico and Hawaii and Alaska. Like they were, these were places of not only the country, but of the world that I thought I would never go. And the books were going. It's so cool to think about me having a book in a, a tribe in Namibia. That is so crazy. I had a friend named Crystal who was in Peace Corps and I mailed her a book and she left it. She was like, I'm going to leave it here. I want you to have some space. I want you to have a place in, in this little tribe that I'm in. Like she, I have a book. That's absolutely insane in, in some small city in Namibia. That's crazy. I, I had people that I met through an organization who are in Canada. I got books in Canada. I got people. It's absolutely crazy. And I, and I only say that to say that when you impact people, they will carry your character and your personality places where you probably won't even go. I met people in Bulgaria and Turkey, right, that, are, that, that, that know Derek and will speak favorably of my character. I know people all over the world, in Europe, in Germany, in, I know people all over the place, in the Philippines, in Korea, that will speak in Japan, in China, that know me and will carry my character. They will speak favorably in places. So that's number one. I think it's really cool when you can live a life and people will carry your character away. This is the very essence of uh, your, your personality, your character has preceded you. Your reputation has preceded you. If you can go into a space and before you even get there, people have spoken favorably about you before even meeting you. Oh, you're doing some good work. You're doing some good work. Mom, dad, when you have your, 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 your kids and they talk about you to their friends and their friends come home already to your home, already with a favorable, favorable view of who you are based on the relationship with your kids. Oh, that's amazing. When I can go to a job or book a gig or go speak to students. And before I even get there, the person that brought me there has spoken favorably. I'm the guy. You're the guy. You're the person. That people love and they adore and they love your heart and your intentions. So that's good. Number one, when people t carry your character and they speak favorably of you, you can go places that either you've never been before or you probably never will go before. Number two, this is what I love. Number two is that we do it not to be carried, but we do it because it's naturally who we are. There's some people, I know I know y'all have, uh, have those friends that you tell the secret to and you're like, hey man, don't tell nobody this. And then they'd be like, all right, I got you. And then they turn around and tell somebody, hey, I'm going to tell you this, but don't tell nobody this. And they're like, okay, I got you. And by the time it gets third, fourth, and fifth, everybody in the group know the thing, but nobody's really talking about it. I'm not talking about people who plant things like that. Because there's some people that's like, I know you're going to tell. You can't hold hot water. You know what I'm saying? You, you, can't, you can't hold a secret if your life depended on it. I know some people will tell people stuff just so it'll get out. They post things on social media because they know it'll get out. They tell people that they did stuff because they know it'll get out. This isn't for them. This podcast, this episode isn't for those people. This episode is for the people who do it just because that's who they are. Shout out to you, friend, for just doing it because it needs to be done. Because it's right and it's good and it's moral and it's ethical. And you can feel it vibrating your belly. That's why you did it. For the people who do that, that's number two. Number one is your reputation will precede you because people will carry you in places that either you've never been or you'll never go, or you'll, you'll go, you haven't gone yet. That's number one. Number two, you do it just because it's who you are. Number three, it always comes back. I'm a solid believer that if you do good, you summon good from the universe, from your God, from your friends. If you put it out there, it's coming back. I promise you. So listen. Even if you don't know it, you're the guy, you're the girl, you're the person. You keep doing good, people are going to talk about you in a good way. You keep doing good and your reputation will precede you. You do good not because of, uh, of you trying to uh, solicit or provoke the universe to bring something back. You do good because that's who you are. And I'm telling you, it comes back every time. 
I met with my guy, Les Thomas. And he said, man, I cannot tell you um, the impact of setting my sights on generosity. And he says, people heard about me being generous. I was generous because it's something that I just wanted to do. And he said, as a result of me just being kind, loving on people and being generous, he was like, we came across so much unexpected money. He was like, not only was it dollars in hand, but it was debt being eradicated. Like he's saying, I put it out and it came back even bigger and better than I could have anticipated. So you, good person listening to this podcast, you do good. Despite of what other people are doing around you, you do good. When people get upset and they hate on you, you do good. Because it's the right thing to do. And people will carry your reputation into places, into spaces, into rooms. They will sit at table with your at tables with your name in their mouth, and you'll never know about it. It'll go places you've never imagined. I promise you. Do good because it feels good. Do good when it don't feel good. But you do it because it's who you are, and people will carry that. They'll carry your story. They'll carry your name. They'll carry your character. I promise you, do it. And before you know it, you're going to look up, and people are going to be pointing the finger at you saying, you're the guy. Oh, that's so good. Thanks again for listening to another episode of My Life of List, hosted by yours truly, Derek Sire, powered by Paradigm Shift, recorded in the Possibility Studios. Signing off until next time. Don't let that small moments pass you. Grab you a pen in the pad. Life is moving too fast. Slow down. Live you a life of list.